Council of Aldermen. Eisler. Kinsella. Meyer. Here. Hull. Here. Anderson. Here. Rudgewitz. Here. Carpenter. Here. Hart. Here. Silsby. Here. Means. Here. Cyber. Here. Martinson. Here. Elmore. Here. Schneider. Here. Mustro. Here. Harlow. Here. Uh, Alderman Heisler is excused. Roll call as department heads. Police Chief Clay. Fire Chief Langson. Mike Flynn. Here. Ken Vaughn. Here. Bryce Carlisle. Here. Jamie Mentry. Tim Gregowitz. Here. Jim Schneider. Here. Leander Spearman. Here. Emily Foltz. Here. Chuck Schaefer. Here. Bob Sable. Here. Uh, Jamie's uh, excused. I haven't heard from the Chief. Is the Chief coming? His car got Okay, I'm sure he'll be strolling. Okay, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, we have no public hearings this evening. Uh, this time I will open public participation. If you'd like to uh, address the council, please step up to the microphone when I recognize you. Give your name and address and try to keep your comments to two to three minutes. Anyone this evening would like to speak? Okay. Hearing none, I will close public participation. Moving on. Minutes of the regular city council meeting held November 5th, 2012. What's your pleasure? <coughs> Motion by Alderman Kinsella. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Alderman Meyer. Yes, ma'am. On page two, when we were taking the attorney report, can we please have an ad-center that does charge additional fees? Mr. Flynn did not say that. Okay. Maybe I'm going to I thought you did charge. Right, and I talked. I talked about reimbursing, getting reimbursement for attorney fees to the city, and the manner in which that, that reimbursement was calculated. I did not receive, and do not receive any additional fees. Any money that is received uh, in that manner goes directly to the city. Okay, I, I did not understand. Yes, it's a, it's a reimbursement mechanism okay, okay. to the city. I think the minutes are okay with that. So we have a motion, we have a second to approve the minutes as written. Uh, no other discussion. All in favor of accepting the minutes signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have a uh, executive session minutes dated February 6, 2012, February 21, 2012, August 20, 2012, September 4, 2012, October 1, 2012, and October 15, 2012. What's your pleasure? Motion to approve and accept by Alderman Silsby. Second by Alderman Schneider. Any discussion? All in favor of accepting those minutes and having them filed, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have a housing report of cash receipts today, fiscal year 2012-2013, uh, and a treasurer's report of City of Belleville funds and statement of cash investments for October 2012. Can I ask for a joint motion for those two to accept? So moved. Motion by Alderman Kinsella, do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Cyber, do I hear discussion? All in favor of accepting those two reports and filing them appropriately signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Zoning Board of Appeals Advisory Reports. Page 69, we have a request for a special use permit for a liquor license at 1501 West Main Street. located in Phase C2 every commercial zoning district. Motion by Alderman Schneider, do I hear a second? Second. Second by Alderman Hart, do I hear discussion? Would you clarify which kind of liquor license it is? I don't have it in front of me. I think, uh, is, is the Abbey here? Anybody from the Abbey here? Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, it's I think it's- Court license, not a license. Yeah, no, no, they have a, they have a court license. Okay. And it's, I think, I think, they haven't even come in to finalize it, but I guess, I'm assuming it's probably gonna be a 1 a.m. license. Not the two o'clock night club. We haven't even got to that yet. It'll be here. Yeah. 
probably be there, so. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and we have a second uh, to uh, approve case number 69 and have the proper ordinance drawn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Four reports. Um, Alderman Anderson. Yes, sir. On behalf of the Master Sword Committee, I assume a motion that there are objections. I'd like to be as a group. Does anybody oppose to having these two read together for Master Sword? Proceed. Motion to change order number seven for phase one of the long term control plan for the new job contractors for the $39,990. And motion to approve the paper request number one for phase two of the long term control plan for reimbursement of engineering fees totaling $166,800. To the city of Bell, and I salute. Motion by Alderman Anderson, do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Hayden. On those two motions coming from Master Sewer. Uh, questions? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Halt. Aye. Rajewitz. Aye. 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 Motion's carry. Alderman Martinson. Your Honor, I have four motions here for the finance committee. If there are no objections, I request to be in the group. You. What's that? Yeah, I think I think we ought to do the. Uh, let's do them individually. There might be a reason to, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, motion number one is to approve the workers' comp and liability insurance renewal with the Illinois County Investment Management Trust. Mm -hmm. so Motion by Alderman Martin said, I hear a second. Second by Alderman Seibert, do I hear discussion? Uh, gentlemen, the time frame of this uh, contract? Uh, 12, 12, 1, 12, 12, 1. So it's just a one year? Yes. Yeah. I thought we were going to say something. The workman's comment, I think, right? Evaluate a year? Yes. Evaluate the phone. Yeah. We have a motion and we have a second to approve this uh, item on the agenda, approving workers' comp and liability insurance renewal with Illinois County's risk management trust. I, I, I think last year, if I'm not mistaken, we approved that they would do it for the next two years. Maybe that's where we're well, that could be. That was what we, as a broker, but this is actually like the policy. This is the, yeah, yeah. that was, that, that was for the appropriate couple years we had for Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Roll call. Kinsella? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Holt? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Rogerwitz? Aye. Carpenter? Aye. Hart? Aye. Silsby? Aye. Hayden? Aye. Seibert? Aye. Martinson? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Musgrove? Aye. Harlow? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, next one. Uh, motion to approve Bell Defense, the lowest bidder at $29,899 for Southside Space Hall Diamond Defense. So moved. Second, Your Honor. We have a motion by Alderman Martins and second by Alderman Carpenter to approve the uh, low bid of $29,899 for Southside's uh, fence on the ball diamond. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Holt, Aye. Anderson, Aye. Rogerwitz, Aye. Carpenter, Aye. Hart, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Hayden, Aye. Seibert, Martinson, Elmore, Schneider, Aye. Musgrove, Harlow. Motion carries. I guess uh, M360, I thought I saw you in the, in the room. Okay, question we just had, my legal counsel asked me, we've not received the final contract. Yes, sir. That's correct, right? Yes, sir. So Mike's advising me that um, I guess the domino effect here, we really need to get that, he needs to look at it, we need to approve that contract because we don't want to approve the financing until we've approved the contract. We don't want to hire Mr. Sidden until we approve the contract. So I think, I think really what we're asking is the table, right? I mean, can we get that in the next few days? So we can have, we have to have a special meeting um, a week from now if, if we get it approved and read through and everything, we can do this. It can still meet the agenda. Linda, have you published the agenda? We got to check, but it could be readjusted. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. So if you can get back with Kenny tomorrow, we can get that copy. I would ask, uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, if we would uh, 
postpone the next three items, the motion to proceed with M360 project and financing, the motion to approve accepting the SIT and construction group's proposal, and the motion to accept a grant of 48700 from the Illinois Clean Energy. I would like to ask for a motion to postpone those three until we get the signed contract, which really triggers all three of those actions. So move here. Motion second. by Alderman Martins and second by Alderman Hayden. Discussion on postponing those three, and we'll do as quickly as possible. If we get it done, he gets it reviewed, we can do it next week. Yes? Yeah. Um, Mayor, we're just more understanding that they would prove it, it would be pending your signature. So well, and that's, we pending. can do that, but I just don't want to ask for that if he hasn't even looked at the, the final contract. I'm asking for them to approve, approve okay. me signing something, and he is in, we haven't laid our eyes on the final document, so I, I think we have to have that so we can present it. So we have a motion to second to, yes, sir? And is Commerce going to hold the contract for the I'll check with Commerce tomorrow morning, but I think we'll be good for 30, a 30-day 30 quote, so I would think we'll be okay till next Monday, hypothetically. I'll check with that first thing in the morning. Uh, <coughs> since since our, uh, our finance director's... Uh, Started um, attorney leave. Um, okay, so a motion and a second to table, hopefully for one week, no longer than two, uh, to the next meeting, but it could be at this special meeting next week. All in favor of tabling, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That takes care of us down to C. We're on to D. Alderman Heisler's not here tonight. Who's filling in for Alderman Heisler? Here. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, Alderman Musgrove. Uh, Your Honor, I'd like to move on behalf of the traffic committee to create a yield intersection at West A Street and North 20th Street. Second. We have a motion by Alderman um, Musgrove, second by Alderman Meyer, so we'll work to, we have discussion. And this is to have the proper arguments drawn. Correct. We have a motion uh, and a second to have a proper, have, a, have the arguments drawn to have the yield sign created at uh, A and uh, North 20th Street. All in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman Meyer. Aye, Your Honor, on behalf of the Planning Commission, I'd like to make a motion to approve Plum Hill Estates Final Class Phase 4D and have the proper argument signed. Motion by Alderman Meyer, second by Alderman Seibert. Um, discussion? All in favor of this motion and have the proper arguments drawn, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman Silsby. Your Honor, on behalf of the Planning Department, I'd like to make a motion to have two Motion by Alderman Silby, second by, who was the second? Alderman Carpenter. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rudgewitch. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, the time are these two gentlemen here? The other one? This is Tyler? Yes, sir. Okay, the other gentleman's not here. Okay, we understand. Congratulations, Tyler. We look forward to swearing you in on the 3rd of, it's the 3rd of December. Thank you. Okay. Alden Silsby. Your Honor, I'd like to make a motion to approve the promotion of Captain Bruce Becker to the County Chief effective December 10, 2012, at 12.01 a.m. Motion by Alderman Silsby, second by Alderman Martinson. Do I hear discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rudgewitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Aiden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Harlick. Motion carries. Tom. I think I saw Captain Becker. Captain Becker, you want to stand up? Congratulations. Okay, uh, moving down the list. Let's see, where do we leave off here? Number three, Oliver Silsby. Motion to approve the promotion of engineer Stephanie Mills to captain effective December 10, 2012 at 12.01 a.m. So moved. Second. Here. Motion by Silsby, second by Martinson to approve uh, Stephanie Mills to captain. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Hull. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogerwitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye.
Well, she carries. I didn't see Stephanie. Is she here? No, she was planning on being here, but I don't see her. Um, and and uh, is it true, Tom? I think I got this correct. Stephanie's our first uh, female captain. That's correct. That's outstanding. So when you see Stephanie, give her uh, your, all of our congratulations, but uh, that's outstanding. Once we have a retirement or two, it triggers a number of uh, it triggers a number of things, so there'll be a few more actions, I think, down the road here. Uh, a little, a little bit long. Thank you and congratulations to everyone. Um, at this time, I'm asking for a motion to proceed and support the dog park located at Rotary Park due to the award of the St. Clair County grant for $25,000. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Motion by Alderman Meyer. Second? Second. Second by Alderman Elmore. Uh, before I ask for discussion, Jim Schneider, I know you're here. We, there was a question raised to me. The Rotary, the Rotary Club is on board. Okay, just want to make sure that was clear. Any other discussion? Yes, sir. There's questions raised really before your honor in relation to practices and a floodplain and, and concerns of, of the water moving out of there with the heavy rain. That's been looked in more detail by engineering. Well, Rotary Park, I mean, unless the creek is really out, I mean, we got Huff Park, for example, can come out pretty quick. I don't think we fill Rotary Park. I mean, we'll I'm certainly worry about your honor. The concerns of the rain to me is with the rains we were actually planning on making the dog park, that that water stays there for quite a while. So, but but once again, I, I don't, uh, Jason. I, I don't know if Rotary Park has any standing water for years. You're asking about storm water <coughs> that flow towards Richland Creek. Is that what you're inquiring mm -hmm. about? The, the concerns raised to me were with rains, that there, there's a lot of stained water in some of those areas that at least was initially shown up on one map that this is where the, the areas of the dog park, a lot of the small dog would be. And, and we looked at that to just make sure that we're, you know, we, we, I don't want to do the dog park and then we, we get rain and then people can't use it for two or three days because the water saturated the ground. Well, I understand what you're saying. Um, we'll, we'll study it further, but this particular park, Jim and Jason, uh, jump in here, but we don't have standing water in this park like we do some of our parks in a couple locations, right? Oh, no, saturated for a few days in those four trains. Well, we'll certainly look at that, but I don't I don't see this in this particular park to be a negative, uh, totally negative factor. Alderman Yes, have we got it this $25,000 for the grant? Will that cover how much of the park? Well, I think there's still, they've got some money raised, we've got some in-kind raised, we've got um, this 25 What is it going to cost the city uh, I think the answer is it'll be, it would be minimal, and what we have to do is they'll come. Now that they got this twenty-five thousand, and I put a copy on your desk tonight, um, I would say now they can fine-tune the final budget. And if there is something that we would have to consider during budget time uh, for consideration, it would be brought forward in January when we start putting together the budget, the Parks Department budget. But I think they're getting. Is it fair to say you're getting close? We do have fourteen thousand in cash donations and also five thousand dollars. Equipment grant from all the playing. So we're, we're getting close. I guess. What is the cost going to cost us besides the grant and the money that they already have? We don't, we, the answer is we don't know yet. Uh, I, we don't know yet, and we're not going to proceed until we have all that figured out. But tonight is to accept this uh, grant uh, and to um, and to agree to continue to move forward uh, at this Rotary Park site. And I think we need this permission before. There's no sense until we get the council to endorse this now for them to spend a whole lot of time crunching numbers and trying to figure out exactly what they need to raise yet or what we can do. I, I think this gives us, this gives them tonight, the Parks Department, our support to say, move forward, let's try to get this uh, uh, buttoned down during the budgeting process so that we can proceed to make something happen. So in other words, it'll be just like the Bicentennial Park. We got the um, money from the Kimball grant, Kimball Family Trust, the so now we got this grant. Oh, we gotta go ahead already got $28,000, regardless of what the extra sort of cost, we'll have to spend it. 
is this what you're saying? Well, just because we got the 28,000? I don't, I don't think we're talking about, we're not creating a whole new park or a major development here. Um, you know, the parking lot's already there, the, some of the pavement's already there. But basically, we're looking at fencing and signage and things of this nature. Uh, we got the 5000 from Perina, I believe, for some of the equipment for, you know, is that correct? Yeah, that's okay. and, and, and so, I don't think we're, uh, there's really any comparison to the two projects that you're, that you're, you know, the Kimball. What I'm saying is just because we've got the money, it'll be, all right, we've got this money, we've got to spend it, so no matter what it costs, we're going to do it. There's still going to be a final vote here, uh, I think, before we start the <coughs> contracts. We're still going to have to vote on any contracts to put up fence. Uh, if we build anything, we're going to be back here several times. I think what we do tonight is we're giving them permission to start to proceed uh, to finalize these plans and crunch the final numbers and try to raise the final. Now that they're getting a real clearer picture, I think they're going to be able to raise the rest of the money. But, but you know, we, we just need permission, we need the endorsement. But once again, this is not the final vote you're going to take on the development of this dog park. Alderman Elmer? We, we, as you say, we've already covered how much money the group has raised, and it's also the fact that the cost of the fence that has been estimated at least two or three times has gone, has fluctuated greatly because of the cost of metal. So, you know, what an estimate what we had a few years ago is useless. And we do have estimates on the fence. We do have estimates on the equipment. We do have those estimates. And we'll get that finalized next semester. Okay. Alderman uh, Thurber. Is there still going to be agreements with members of the parks prior to this? That, that, I think that still has to be worked out and presented. I think those are the details, you know. You know, this, this concept started several years ago. I, unfortunately, because of some of the things we learned and discovered as we went along, We've changed two sites. It happens. Uh, but it was during the only early stages where we were exploring. Uh, I think they still have to come back and talk about whether or not there's going to be any fees to propose to users, etc. That that certainly is a model out there by a number of them, right, Jim? So we're gonna we're gonna look at that. But there's no tonight is not any final decision made. It's it's just the next step so that we can Give them the confidence that they're not wasting staff time on any further, further uh, development and, and research and, and, and meetings, so that we know that we're endorsing to give it a go ahead for the next, the next, the next round. Yes, ma'am. I see there's a deadline from the people who are giving us the grant for giving the paperwork back. Do you know if there's a deadline for giving them? I I haven't. You know what? I got this. Yes, ma'am. Second by Alderman Seibert. Uh, all in favor of this uh, motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
Change the signs, Jason. Uh, Alderman Seibert. Yes, Your Honor, I have four motions uh, that have been approved unanimously by Tracy and Ray, and I'd like to read them all and have voted on the one. I think that's possible. Go ahead. A motion to approve the groundwater use ordinance for South Southwest for Geo Technology and have the proper ordinance drawn. A motion to approve lighting on 10 Lemon Tail Street and upgrading existing lights. A motion to approve Hammerin to install three lights on Coastal Drive for the amount of $5,418 from the general funds. And a motion to approve upgrading lights on 8th Street between 20th and 23rd Street. Oh, Motion by Alderman Steiber, do I hear a second? Second, second by Alderman Kinsella, do I hear discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Halt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogelitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Those four motions passed. Communications. A uh, request from the Junior Service Club of St. Clair County seeking permission to host their fourth annual 5K run in Belleville on October 12, 2013, starting at 7 p.m. and finishing near the intersection of Main Street and Charles Street. I hear a motion. <coughs> by Alderman Meyer. Second by Alderman Seibert. Any other discussion? All in favor of approving this request uh, almost a year earlier. They're, they're efficient. Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. There's no petitions and no resolutions this evening. We go to ordinances. Um, I ask for a motion to read by title only. Ordinance 76 party 2, 76 party 3, 76 party 4, 76 party 5, 76 party 6, 76 party 8. 7649 and 7650. And 7652. Motion by Alderman Silsby. Second, second by Alderman uh, Martinson. Do I hear discussion? All in favor of reading those uh, ordinances by title only signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Now, is there any objection to reading the nine proposals as a group? Well, that's what we're asking. Do you want to? Do you want to read? Well, which one do you want to vote? Do you want them all individual, or what do you want? Well, then we'll read them one at a time. Ordinance number seventy-six forty-two, an ordinance prohibiting the use of groundwater as a potable water supply by the installation or use of potable water supply wells or by any other method. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Motion by Alderman Silsby. Do I hear a second? I don't know. Second by Alderman Rudewitz. Do I hear any discussion? <coughs> Roll call on ordinance number 7642. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Halt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rudewitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Harlan. Motion carries. Ordinance number 7643, a zoning ordinance for case 63 to the mandates. Motion by Alderman Silsby, second by Alderman Cyber to approve Kate ordinance number 7643. Discussion? I have a question. Um, this involves a time frame and a deadline. So whose responsibility is to make the deadline? Well, I think since it's zoning, we're going to yeah. all the time. Okay. Okay. Emily and Bob are going to be on it. We have a motion. We have a second. Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Hull. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogelitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance number 7644. A zoning ordinance for case 64 with Sean Wright. Motion to approve. Motion by Alderman uh, Silsby. Second. Who wants to second? Second. Second by Alderman Musgrove. Now, here discussion. Uh, roll call vote on ordinance number 7644. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Halt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogowitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. 
Martinson? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Musgrove? Aye. Arlen? Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance 7645, a zoning ordinance for case 67, BNS Land Trust, Samantha Border. No recommendation. This goes back, I guess. Uh, the, the ordinance is to approve it in the name of the applicant only. Applicant only. Okay. Right. Okay. Motion by Alderman Silver. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Alderman Meyer. Do I hear a discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogerwitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Cybert, Martinson, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Schneider, Aye. Musgrove, Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance number 7646, a zoning ordinance for case 69, the Abbey, and there is a recommendation from the zoning board to recommend to approve it unanimously. So moved. We have a motion by Alderman Hart, second by Alderman Silsby. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Holt, Aye. Anderson, Aye. Rogerwitz, Aye. Carpenter, Aye. Hart, Aye. Selsby, Aye. Hayden, Aye. Seibert, Aye. Martinson, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Schneider, Aye. Musgrove, Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance 7648, an ordinance amending section 7-6-6 of article uh, 6 uh, for coin operated amusement devices of Chapter 7, which is business license of the Revised Code of Ordinances of Belleville, Illinois. Motion by Alderman Silsby, do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Cyber. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Halt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogerwitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance 7649, an ordinance amending section 30-1-32, gambling prohibited of chapter 30, has to do with the offenses of the revised code of ordinances of Belleville, Illinois. Motion carries. Second. Second was Carpenter. On the Carpenters. We have a motion, we have a second. Discussion? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson, Aye. Rogerwitz, Aye. Carpenter, Aye. Hart, Aye. Silsby, Aye. Hayden, Aye. Seibert, Aye. Martinson, Aye. Elmore, Aye. Schneider, Aye. Musgrove, Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Ordinance number 7650. An ordinance authorizing and directing the issuance, sale, and delivery of general obligation reference refundable bond series uh, 2012 of the city of Belleville, Illinois, describing the form and details of said bonds, providing for the levy and collection of an annual tax for the purpose of paying the principal of and interest of on said bonds as they become due and authorizing certain other documents and actions in connection thereof. Motion by Alderman uh, Silsby, second, second by Alderman uh, Seibert. Discussion. Um, Jari, you're, you're here tonight for this. Do you want to add anything before we take the vote? I don't know if the, they received a copy of the savings schedule, so just in case you they You might did, want to give them the good news. I'll give them the good news and then I have copies I can okay. pass out. Uh, when we started working on this refunding, um, I had estimated that the savings would be around 627000 we put a floor of 300,000 that we wouldn't proceed unless that was the minimum amount of savings that we had. Well, luckily, since we began the process, interest rates fell and really fell a lot, <laughs> down to about 45 year historical low levels. And the um, actual savings, um, hold, hold on to your seat, <laughs> $1,419,000. Which is uh, slightly more well, almost 100, about 110 thousand dollars every year for the next 14 years. It's uh, pretty outstanding. I want to compliment Jamie, who's uh, out of maternity leave, and, and Joy, who we've uh, been using for a number of years. But um, I, I applaud you know, the group as a group. We've looked at this for some time, and this is quite a saving. So, as she passes out and asks for a roll call vote. 
Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Hall. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rogerwood. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Cyber. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries, and, and Joy, that also, um, just give them just real quick the fact that we did have to go through the uh, bond rating and that that. Good point. Uh, we did it. Every time the city does an, an issuance, we have to go back through the rating process again. And your rating was confirmed at A. Plus. Um, the rating agencies didn't note that your credit has improved since the time of the last rating. Not quite enough to get your rating upgrade, but the city's definitely going in the right direction, which is certainly a plus in today's um, economic environment. And, and obviously it's conservative budgeting and really being careful with every dollar that you have. So that certainly helped contribute to the savings. Um, also, we selected the underwriter, um, which you may know from the last time I was here by a competitive process, and that competitive process also helped. But all of those things combined, I, I couldn't ever have dreamed that we would save this much. So We're very, we're very happy. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Very Thank good. you. Outstanding. Ordinance 7652, an ordinance amending uh, section 60-6-55 of Chapter 60 of the revised code of ordinances of Delaware. Motion, Motion to approve. Thanks. Second by Alderman Seibert. Mike, this is just a clean housekeeping of two topics. Yeah, that's all it is. I haven't noticed uh, the other day in the looking at an issue that there was language in this uh, section that simply said uh, uses of, as permitted above or something to that effect. And, and rather than making reference to the specific classification C1 and C2, so I think it needs to be clarified because the language used is, uh, is confusing for some reason. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. We have an explanation. If there's no other comment, roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Hall. Aye. Anson. Aye. Rogerwitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Silsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Markinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider? Aye. Musgrove? Aye. Arlen? Aye. Motion carries. Any unfinished business? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're still in the process of uh, acquiring some of the right of way of property. And uh, also, the, the final plans were sent on to IDOT for, for approval. And now it's in their ballpark. We, we got a, our group that we hired is continuing to uh, work diligently on the acquisitions we need. But now we're uh, we're waiting on IDOT. We're hoping it's uh, only a few months, but we don't know. They're, they make their own time frame. They, they make their own time frame. There's nothing I can do to, to, to you know, with, the, with some of the changes and some of the cuts in engineering staffing, they're definitely slower today than they used to be. So that's where we're at. Okay. All right. A second question. Um, 804 is the What is the status of that as far as the there was, there was a hearing this morning and uh, no one appeared uh, for the defendant other than the defendant's attorney. So no one appeared for the Historical Society and as a result the case was continued to December 3rd for a hearing at that time for the city's pending motion. And that was at the request of the defendant, not the request of the city. For the attorney for the Historical Society, yeah, so um, they've got to get there and get finished. I think there's a communication problem with the well, Which is not the city's problem. It's not our problem. I, mean, we, 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 I think that may be true, but uh, it's not with the city. I, I, I did want to ask you, though, about the lot next door. Well, as I told you, I, I, in good conscience, you know, as the mayor, I can't bring that to ask the council to consider donating that, as I think we certainly would consider. And certainly, I'm certainly willing to move that forward until we clear up all the matters in court. It would be it would be ill of us to to hand that over until that matter is taken care of because it's it's been lingering and, and, and ignored really for quite some time. So as soon as that's done, I think that we will appropriately uh, work it through and get it done as, as quickly as possible to, to make that possibly happen. Okay. You know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any other questions there on the miscellaneous new business? We'll go on to. 
claims, payroll, and disbursements. Yes, Your Honor, I move to add the claims, payroll, and disbursements. We have a motion by Alderman Anderson. Do I hear a second? Second, second by Alderman Martinson. Do I hear discussion? Roll call. Consola. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Paul. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rajewicz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlo. Aye. Motion carries. I'd ask for a motion to approve the motor fuel claims in the amount of $42,452.39. Motion by Alderman Seibert. Motion by Alderman Seibert. Second by Alderman Kinsella. Discussion on that? Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rajewicz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Seibert. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Motion carries. This time I'd ask for a motion to go into executive session to discuss um, the contract by one of our union bargaining uh, locals, litigation, and um, also the workers' comp settlements that uh, we're going to be presented the possibility of. We have a motion to go in executive session for those reasons. Motion by Alderman Meyer, second by Alderman Seibert. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion to go into executive session signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in open session. Um, at this time, I would first like to, uh, we have uh, three items in executive session to discuss, and we are going to be um, <coughs> recommending action on all three. The first, I'd ask for a motion to approve the agreement between the City of Belleville and the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 148, from May 1st, 2012 to April 30th, 2015, and approve the contract that was that was presented and that was discussed. Do I hear a motion? So moved, Your Honor. Motion by Alderman Anderson. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Meyer. Do I hear discussion on this contract further than what we had? Roll call. Kinsella? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Paul? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Rajewitz? Aye. Carpenter? Aye. Hart? Aye. Selsby? Aye. Hayden? Aye. Seibert? Aye. Martinson? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Schneider? Aye. Musgrove? Aye. Arliss? Aye. Motion carries. We approve the contract with the operating engineers. The next I would ask for a motion, two separate motions. Uh, uh, there's two of the three workman's comp cases we, we're moving forward tonight. The other one possibly could be ready by the next meeting. Uh, the first motion uh, dealing with workman's comp I'm asking for is a motion to approve the settlement pending with workman's compensation case of Kip, Ro Kip Schneider of Belleville in the amount of $27,607.35. It's case number 12, WC030261. And is as recommended by counsel, by our legal counsel. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Motion by Alderman Martinson, second by Alderman Meyer, to approve that approving that recommendation from our uh, legal counsel. Discussion. Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rajewicz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Cyber. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove? Aye. Arlen? Aye. Motion carries. I now ask for a motion to approve the settlement pending workman's comp compensation case of John Massa uh, with the City of Belleville in the amount of $14,605.50. Case number 12, WC002872. And it, it's actually two cases, correct, Rod? Three. Three cases, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me read them all. 12 WC002392 and 12 WC002873. And this is as recommended also, these three cases, but that's for the total settlement of the 14,605. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, so as recommended by our legal counsel. Do I hear a motion to accept, to approve? So moved. Motion by Alderman Martinson. Right. Second by Alderman Seibert. Discussion. Roll call. Kinsella. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Holt. Aye. Anderson. Aye. Rajewitz. Aye. Carpenter. Aye. Hart. Aye. Selsby. Aye. Hayden. Aye. Cyber. Aye. Martinson. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Schneider. Aye. Musgrove. Aye. Arlen. Aye. Motion carries. Number F. Um, there's a motion that came from Finance Committee 
To approve the forwarding to council, spending up to $7,000 with Belleville Fence to put up a six foot fencing fence around the hole at North Jackson East Main Street as an emergency expenditure to be paid, the recommendation was on TIF 17. Uh, after much discussion, uh, uh, do I hear a motion to move this forward or what's the action of the council? So, yeah. Motion to approve this. this. Motion by Alderman Arlen. Is there a second? Second, Your Honor. Okay, there is a second to put it on the floor. We now have a motion and a second to vote on this expenditure. And I just will say that, uh, as stated to these folks, um, um, I think it's fair to say our legal counsel has advised uh, to take no action at this time. So, now let's stay for the record. That is, that is the advice of the legal counsel. So it's stated. It is. I'm stating that that the legal counsel uh, has advised that we take no action at this time. So to clarify, a yes vote means put up a fence. A no a vote no would vote mean means take no action. Follow the advice of the. Follow the, the no <laughs> vote would mean follow the advice of our attorneys. Roll call. Kinsella. No. Meyer. No. Hall. No. Anderson. No. Rogers. No. Carpenter? No. Hart? Yes. Selsby? No, but there's a yes. There's a yes, okay. Selsby? No. Hayden? No. Seibert? No. Martinson? No. Elmore? No. Schneider? No. Musgrove? No. Arlo? No. Noes have it. Uh, we'll hold off at this time on any fence. Uh, and per the advice of our legal counsel, this case is still awaiting the judge's decision. At this time, I'd ask him for a, a, a motion to adjourn. Motion by Alderman Byer, second by Alderman Anderson. All in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries.